All right, I have in my hands the entire lineup of the most anticipated re-release that I've seen in a long time, the Mega Bass Levante lineup. Now, the entire lineup is here. By the time this video drops, it'll probably be sold out already of some of the key models. But before we sell out, I wanted to break down the entire lineup. I wanted to walk through each individual model, show you guys the action, talk through them so that you understand what each rod is going to be like so I can answer all the questions in one shot. So if you guys are ready to dive through the brand new release of Mega Bass Levante, let's do it. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hook of Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back, my friends. I am Ben with Hookup Tackle, aka the Tackle Taku, being filmed by my buddy Jeffrey the King. We are the Hookup Tackle USA. Today, we are diving through, we're going to do a deep dive. We're going to break down all of the models in the brand new Mega Bass Levante series of rods. Now, if you guys have been around fishing at all, really, uh, and you know anything about Mega Bass Rods, you'll know Levante, some of the best sellers. What's amazing about Levante is you get a Mega Bass styled rod, beautiful, aggressive JDM styling. You get all the Mega Bass actions for 199 bucks, right? It's a, it's a crazy deal, which makes Levante so popular. Now, Levante was pulled off the shelves about a year or so ago after a redesign because Mega Bass wasn't happy with the amount of breakage they were receiving. Now, they redesigned them, new graphite. The actions are very, very similar, but with the new graphite, it changes a little bit. These are incredibly strong rods now, but I wanna walk through each action so that we can just explore which ones are the same, which ones are slightly different, so that you guys know going in what to expect from this new series. We expect this to be probably our best selling series of all time. I can tell you right out of the gate that they weigh nothing. I mean, what are your thoughts, Jeff? I mean, for 199 this is a ridiculous rod. It's, it's crazy, right? It's just absolutely right? ridiculous. Yeah. This feels like a $400 rod. Yeah, if you didn't know these things were 199 you just came in, you would just assume they were a four or five hundred dollar rod. I mean, Easily. so they absolutely nailed it. So let's let's talk about the styling first, so you guys can see the styling. I've got a casting and a spinning, and then what we'll do is we're just going to break down the line starting from the lowest F power to the highest F power. And if you guys aren't familiar with F powers in Mega Bass rods, instead of doing you know medium, medium heavy, heavy like what most rod companies do, they do F powers. So if you look at any of the rods. They're gonna have you know, the name of the rod, like Diablo Spec R, but then they're gonna have this F power here, right? So an F5 is gonna be lighter than an F6, right? And so on and so forth. So you can kind of see where their powers rank, okay? So let's take a look here first at the casting models. Okay, so all of the models are styled the same. So they're gonna have this beautiful kind of dark green shiny it's just a very classy like upscale deep green the wrapping is going to be you know a combination of kind of this silver and like silvery purple which has kind of been the staple with levante you have this beautiful kind of half metal half carbon fiber you know lockdown real seat here that is branded levante on there as well You've got your traditional, you know, beautiful Mega Bass real seat. It's got the contour in there, so it's comfort. You've got the EVA foam, hook keeper on the bottom, another Mega Bass hit with that carbon fiber, you know, in between the EVA foam down there. These are made in Vietnam, so these are coming out of their Vietnam factory now. 
I don't know if that's a big deal, just so you guys know. Each one will come with a label and the recommended techniques that they built the rod for, but we're gonna dive in and explore these guys and you know we'll make up our own minds which rod is gonna be great for what. Here's a look at the spinning version. So again, spinning version, you're gonna get that same beautiful coloration all the way through, right? You've got that just really cool metal type connections with some carbon fiber inlay. You've got EVA foam grip. Now this is gonna be a forward grip so that it's tapered so that your hand is gonna be in front of the spinning reel touching metal. And that's something that you're gonna find in almost every Mega Bass rod is that they want your fingers to be touching some form of metal. They've done gazillions of studies on which materials transmit vibration the best and metal is their favorite. So you're gonna always try to find something there that you're gonna to be touching. So really beautiful style. You've got, again, a kind of a metal and carbon lockdown reel seat here. Again, Levante style, hook keeper on the bottom, mega best hit, carbon fiber to that EVA foam, okay? So beautiful rod, stunning, ultra light. Let's start going through the lineup. We'll start with spinning and go all the way to the heaviest casting. All right, up first, we're gonna start with the lightest rod in the lineup. This is the Levante Whip Snake. So this guy is an F3, F3 611. Okay, so it's six foot 11 inches, three power. Now the Whip Snake historically has been kind of the go-to drop shot rod of the lineup. This is an amazing rod if you're nose hooking, light line, really finesse to where you can get the bite and all you have to do is just kind of lift, right? The whip snake historically bends very deep into the blank, as you can see, okay? So you're gonna have this nice kind of regular type bend through the middle of the rod, even though it's really fast at the tip, okay? So, you know, don't pay too much attention. What do they even call it? They're calling it extra fast, right? But don't let that fool you. It's very responsive at the tip, but the rod bends deep into the blank. Okay, so even though it's extra fast, it still has that nice soft cushion for the handling lighter lines, small nose hooks, that kind of stuff. So you guys are, you know, nose hook drop shotting, light Neko rig, you know, any of your finesse type plastics, lighter weight. Let's see, it specs out at 16th ounce to 3 8 ounce, five to 12 pound line. So if you guys are using that 16th ounce, eighth ounce, you know, three 16th ounce weight, four, five, six pound test, this would be a great option for you. Now, this is not enough rod to handle quarter ounce, three eighth ounce drop shot with a weedless hook, right? So if you're using something like a cover shot or a rebarb hook, weedless plastic, heavier weight, then you're gonna to wanna to bump up to the next rod we're gonna talk about. But if you're using little nose hooks, little finesse stuff, the Whip Snake will be amazing for you. Okay, up next in the lineup is the Levante Shaky Head. Now this is an F3.570. So this is going up half of a power, okay? So this is a 3.5 power. So, and it's gonna be seven foot. So you're gonna see that the lure rating on this guy, eighth ounce to half ounce. So even though this is the shaky head rod, right? This is the rod that we sell the most for drop shot and kind of all around use. If you're throwing a lot of quarter and three eighth ounce stuff, this rod can handle it. So it's rated as a fast action, but you can see that the rod still is going to bend somewhere through that mid section of the rod, okay? So it's not gonna be like a traditional, like a jig and worm rod where you'd think where a fast action is all at the tip. You're still gonna get that midsection bend on this, but it's going to have this nice kind of flexible, fast tip to it. So you're gonna really be able to work the heavier weights, but still get that nice little tip to feel the sensitivity, to give your bait some life. So if you guys are throwing, you know, again, drop shot with quarter three eighth ounce, Money, shaky head, money, Ned Riggs, money. What's that thing that you like to throw, Jeff? Oh gosh, uh, it's a flick shake. Flick shake, yeah. that's what it was. Flick shake, wacky rig, all that stuff. All those things would be great on the shaky head. So for me, especially if you guys are throwing like seven, 
eight pound fluoro or braid to seven or eight pound fluoro, this is gonna be your most versatile all around do everything rod in the lineup. This is the shaky head. All right, moving along for the last spinning rod. This is the new Levante Enforcer. So this is an F four and a half, seven four. So this is seven foot four inches. So we've bumped up a full power here. Now, the Enforcer to me is the most underrated rod in their lineup. This is one that I would definitely be adding for myself personally. If I could only have one spinning rod in the lineup, this would be it. And the reason for that, it's seven foot four. So I fish a lot of open water. So if you're making long casts with your finesse stuff and it's sinking down into deep water, this is gonna have enough reach to be able to you know, pick up that line and, and get solid hook sets going. This rod is also strong enough to be incredibly versatile. So they're specking it out as quarter to five eighths ounce of fast action. And they're recommending it as a tube or like a weightless Senko rod. And it's great for all of that. Now this rod is gonna be more of a traditional fast action jig and worm type taper. It's gonna have a little bend through the middle, but really all of the bend is gonna kind of be here at the tip. Okay, so you get this fast action tip and you get lots of solid backbone. So it can handle the heavier weight of say a five inch Senko, all right? That weighs about half an ounce. If you guys like throwing a weightless Senko, this would be a great one. Dark sleeper, heavier Ned rig, shaky head, drop shot. Again, quarter ounce, three eighth ounce, you know, those heavier weights, bigger worm. This would be an amazing stick for that. Sometimes at seven four, the rods will get a little heavy. Not so with this guy. It's, it's so light that you won't even really realize you're fishing a 7.4, but you're gonna get all that extra line pickup. So if you're looking for more of a big water type rod to kind of do everything finesse, the Enforcer is definitely the way to go. All right, up next we see two rods in the bait casting model that start the lineup. These are both at F4.5 power. So. The first one is the Levante Flat Side Special. This is an F4.5 LV. So it's a seven foot, they call it a regular action, okay, and a 4.5 power. The other one in that same taper is the Jerk Base Special. So this is an F4.5 611 LV, okay? This is basically a 611 version, but this is gonna be more of a fast action. So they're both 4.5 power. What's the difference? Well, here's the difference. The Jerkbait Special is designed specifically from butt to tip to throw a jerkbait, okay? So traditionally, when you have a treble hook bait, you want the rod to have a lot of give to it, right? You want it to bend through that midsection. However, with a jerkbait, when you're, when you're jerking and twitching all day, if you have too much midsection, that rod wobbles and your arm just wears out. So Megabass's jerkbait rods are built a little faster through the midsection, but then they have this beautiful soft tip, right? And this tip is just soft enough to where as you're jerking, it's gonna just absorb and bounce back. So you can twitch a jerkbait all day long without a lot of arm fatigue, right? So if you guys are looking for a jerkbait specific rod, this is the one, the jerkbait special. This is also great at like smaller to medium walking style topwater baits or poppers. Something where it's kind of the same thing. You're kind of twitching the whole time to get that bait to move on the surface or you're just giving it a little pop here and there. This is a great action for that because it's just going to move at the tip and you're going to get a lot of control. Now, if you want the rod to have more bend through the midsection, that's where the flat side special is going to come in. So you notice this rod will start to bend almost right away through the blank. So this guy is going to have a lot more of that kind of parabolic bend to it because it's designed more for throwing traditional treble hook baits that you don't need to walk. Small crank baits, you know, poppers, top waters, you know, things where you're not having to walk the dog or twitch as much, things where you can more just kind of cast and wind or maybe just give it a pop every once in a while. The flat side special is great. So think of this as your one-two punch, okay? Jerk bait special for jerk baits and, you know, walking top water baits like a Dog X, Sammy, that kind of stuff. Flat side special for your, you know, your 
poppers. You could also throw some of those walking topwater baits on it, but really for me, it's more like your smaller square bills, you know, treble hook baits that you can kind of cast and just retrieve. This would be a great one-two punch in that lineup. All right, continuing to go through the bait casting lineup, we see two rods at the F5 power. Now, the first one up is an F572. This is the Diablo Spec R. The second one is an F575 LV. This is the Extreme Mission Type F, or the acronym EMTF. You'll hear it referred to a lot. Now, we get tons of questions. What are the difference between these rods? They're both F5. They're both kind of designed for reaction. So let's break this down really quick, okay? The Diablo Spec R is designed to be a little bit faster than the Extreme Mission Type F. Now, the rating on this guy, you've got 3 eighths to 3 quarter ounce, 8 to 20. They're calling it a fast action. I would call it more of a regular action, okay? So it is going to start bending kind of right here in the middle of the rod, and it's a very smooth, controlled bend, okay? It's a nice taper for throwing reaction baits like a heavier spinner bait, a chatter bait, a lipless, a square bill. Diablo Spec R is money for all of those. So this, in my opinion, if you're looking for one rod to cover as much reaction bait stuff as you can, this would be a great one. A weightless swim bait, like a skinny dipper or a Kitek or something like that, works great on this as well. Buzz bait works great on this because you're gonna get a little bit of that taper to bend with the bait so when the fish bite, it's going to absorb some of that sensitivity so you're not swinging too fast. So if you're looking for a great all around rod, this guy is definitely it. Now, the Extreme Mission Type F for a very long time has kind of been kind of the go-to like junk fishing rod for reaction stuff because it's, it's rating and its ability is really kind of through the roof, okay? So specking this guy out, it's 3 eighths to one ounce, eight to 20 pound. So that's a huge lure rating, right? It covers almost anything hard bait wise you can throw at it. Now, this rod, they rate it as a medium fast. So I think that's, that's more accurate. Again, I would consider it kind of a regular taper because it does kind of bend through the middle section. It has a deeper bend than that Diablo Spec R, right? Now it's seven five, so you're getting three extra inches. So of course you're getting a little more bend, but in general, it's a touch softer bend than the Diablo Spec R. So this guy is going to be better for your treble hook type stuff. So mid cranks, shallow cranks, things that you need that rod to really absorb some of you know the head shake and that kind of stuff, the Extreme Mission Type F is great. You can throw a battalion on it, you can throw you know, your Vibration X Ultras if you're just kind of on a steady retrieve. But if you're throwing hard baits where you need to kind of rip it out, like a lipless in grass where you kind of need to rip it out, then I would go to Diablo Spec R because it's going to give you a touch more power. So that's kind of how I would gauge this. EMTF, a little bit lighter. Diablo Spec R, a slightly more power, but both great all-around reaction rods. All right, next rod in the lineup is the Levante Brailist. Now this guy is an F5.575. Now, this is known as the jig rod of the lineup. So rating wise, it's 3 eighths to one ounce, eight to 20 pounds. So again, it's got a huge lure rating on it. This guy is seven foot five, really designed for fishing like a soft plastic. So they call it a Texas rig jig rod, okay? Now, this rod is styled as a jig rod, more like a Japanese style jig rod, okay? It's not gonna be a super fast jig rod like you would think of, I don't know, in a Loomis or something like that, right? It's a little bit softer. So they call it a fast action, but I want you guys to know going in that this rod does bend almost to the middle of the rod, okay? So it's a much softer jig rod than what you would expect from a traditional jig rod. Now this is definitely the style in Japan is to have this softer, less slack line sensitivity type rod. This will be amazing for things that you're dragging and maintaining constant contact with. Swim jigs, any kind of jig on the bottom where you're just kind of on a constant drag, right? To where that tip is loaded. To get the maximum sensitivity, you're gonna want that tip to kind of stay loaded a little bit 
you know, small swim bait like a dark sleeper or a you know swim bait on an underspin or a jig head kind of drug on the bottom, the Brailless will be amazing for that. And what's nice is when it's under load, the sensitivity is gonna transfer super fast and it's gonna give you some extra bend in there for fighting the fish as well. So once they're hooked up, it's beautiful. Just don't expect this to be the most amazing slack line jig rod of all time because it's not gonna give you that same, you know, sensitivity transfer down to your hand for a jig where you're kind of pulling over the rock and then it's falling down and the fish will bite it like that, right? It needs to have some kind of load up on the rod to really let that sensitivity transfer. But as long as you do, it's a brilliant rod. It's got a lot of versatility to it, huge lure rating. You guys will really dig that. That's the Brailist. All right, now that I've crushed some of your jig fishing dreams with the Brailist, let's talk about the F670. This is the Levante Tour Versatile. Now, this is the most traditional fast action jig and worm rod that Mega Bass makes in this lineup. So it's seven foot, it's three eighths to one ounce, 12 to 25 pound line. So again, it's got a huge lure rating. This rod is exactly what you would expect as a fast action jig and worm rod. It's all backbone here through the midsection with just a little bit of tip up here up top. So if you're comparing this to, you know, other jig and worm rods, this would be kind of like a medium heavy plus is what I would call it. It's light enough and sensitive enough at the tip to where it could certainly throw a 3 8 ounce jig, but this guy is gonna love throwing that half 5 8 ounce jig with a trailer or soft plastic or swim bait or whatever it is that you're throwing that you need that slack line sensitivity. So if that's what you're looking for, a traditional fast action jig and worm rod, where you're gonna be able to lift and then feel, you know, as the bait's falling, feel that fish bite on a slack line, the Tour Versatile is definitely the rod to get. Now, as the name references, versatile, this is probably the most versatile rod in the lineup as well. It's a, tr it's a traditional seven foot, medium heavy type rod, so it can do a lot of stuff. Spinner bait, soft plastic, weightless Senko, you know, I mean, on and on and on, right? So if you're looking for one rod to just kind of do a lot of different things, or you're looking for the best slack line sensitivity rod in the lineup, definitely take a look at the Tour Versatile. All right, next rod in the lineup is one of my favorites in the lineup. This is the perfect pitch. So this is the F772LV. Now, one of the reasons why this is one of my favorites. This is just the right rod with the right action to do a ton of shit. Like you can do so many things on this rod. So lure rating is 3 8 ounce to 1.2 ounce, 20, 12 to 25 pound, right? So it's got this huge lure rating, almost a full ounce of lure rating. The rod is heavy. It's not to weight, but heavy in power. It's got a real strong midsection and butt section. But the tip, like the top third, has this beautiful kind of regular taper to it. So it's a little more bendy than a traditional, just kind of like fast action. It's gonna have just a little bit of tip. It gives you a little more tip. And because of that, it gives you a little bit more lure rating. But don't let that fool you. It's got tons of backbone and power down here in the bottom section. So this is a rod, obviously as the name implies, perfect pitch that's designed for very accurate pitches and very accurate casting. If you're skipping docks, if you're close range, you're just skipping isolated targets or pitching isolated targets, this rod is money. This is also a great frog rod in the lineup. So if you guys are looking for a rod that can easily walk frogs, the perfect pitch is definitely the one to get. You can throw larger spinner baits on it. You could throw a swim jig on it. You could throw a swim bait on it. This rod has been kind of the go-to like six inch mag draft rod in the lineup for a lot of guys for many years. It's great. Weedless spark shad, great. Because it's gonna give you the power you need to drive the hook, but still maintain that softness at the top end for a really easy casting and accurate casting. So if you're looking for an all around use rod for heavier line, a little heavier bait, perfect pitch is definitely it. All right, up next in the lineup, we see a return of the F8710. This is the Atlas. Now, the Atlas has been the flip slash punch rod 
in their lineup for quite some time now. So spec it out. This guy is seven foot ten inches. It's an eight power, which in their world would be something like a extra heavy. It's a medium fast action, three eighths to one point five ounce. So huge lure rating, fifteen to thirty pound. Now. Couple things to point out about the Aklis. The Aklis, historically, if you guys have picked up an Aklis before, they used to be very, very heavy down here in the butt section to where you picked them. It's like, oh my gosh, there's so much weight to it, right? And that was to basically offset putting a big tungsten punching weight up at the tip so that it would balance out. Now, this new one still has a little bit of weight down here, but nothing like what some of the older models did. So it feels very balanced but it's still gonna ha give you that nice kind of offset with a big punching weight. The Aklis is going to have this kind of medium fast taper that it's talking about, and it's kind of a regular bend almost through the middle. So this is going to be a great one for punching a heavier tungsten, you know, fishing grass and mats in places where you don't want the rod to be too fast. You want it to have a little bit of give so that it can absorb some of that. Now. Something else that's important to point out with this guy is it has what Megabass is calling a tactical handle. And basically what that means is the rod is ferreled. So this is something new in Levante. It's gonna be on this, on the Aklis, as well as on the Leviathan. This is a great feature for me, and it'll be a great feature for a lot of you as well, because some of these longer rods are just a hassle to ship. They're a hassle to store. A lot of you guys don't have huge rod lockers, but you want these bigger rods. Now you can store them. So one important thing to point out with this style rod is when you're attaching the ferrule, okay, you never want to just push the rod straight in and call it a day, okay? Because what will happen is over the course of time, there's nothing really bonding the two pieces causing chaos over here, Jeff. Aklis for sale. There's nothing really bonding those two pieces. So potentially it could work its way out. So what you wanna do when you connect these is you want to push the rod in at a 45 degree angle, okay? So here's your reel. You're gonna have to hold it a little higher, champ. Okay. There you go. Am I good now? Yeah, yeah. dude. Okay. Thanks for the direction so there, So now Captain. I can see what's going on. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to put this in at a 45 degree <laughs> angle. Jesus. Are you good? Control yourself, Jeff. This is a serious episode, Jeff. We're good? Can we continue? That's what she said. We can do that for all day, Jeff. Okay. Here's straight. You'll notice that the writing is off to the side. That's where you want to attach this rod, okay? So you'll notice that the guides are off at like a 45 degree angle. Once that's in, you're now gonna twist it tight and you're going to twist it straight okay and it's that twisting that's going to bond that graphite to that butt section now it is not coming off okay so make sure when you get these rods that you attach them properly right 45 degree twist it tight let it bond and you're good now if for any reason you leave this on there for a long time and you don't detach the handle it's going to bond so good you're not going to be able to really ever pull this off it's super easy. Just get your wife or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your buddy and just stagger your hands. Okay, so there's two of you and then just count to three. You're gonna so have to hold that a little higher. I can't see you staggering. Thank you. Stagger your hands. Okay, so there's two of you. So one person come here, the next person go there, right? And then just on one, two, three, pull and it pops right off. So it's really easy to do, but make sure you get that solid connection on there if you guys are looking for just a great all-purpose kind of punch, heavy-duty flip rod, the Aklis is pretty dope. What if I lived alone in it and I didn't have somebody to stagger with? Poor Jeffrey. You still haven't found that JDM bride? No. Poor, no, poor I Jeffrey. No, I not. So it's going to be a pain in the ass to get yeah. that thing apart. You should just get out more. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. I'll tell you what, Jeff. Let me hear it. Bring your rod in, Kay. and I'll help stagger oh. my hands on your rod. No way. Yes. Wow, you're really thoughtful. I'm happy to do it. And finally. And finally, <laughs> in the lineup, probably the most anticipated model, and the one we've been getting the most questions on, this is the F10 711. This is the Leviathan. Now, the Leviathan is the main swim bait rod of the lineup, so let's spec it out. 7 foot 11, 10 power, 
It's a regular taper, two to eight ounces, the lure rating, 20 to 40 pound. Again, it is going to have that tactical handle, right? So it is gonna come ferreled, so for easy storage. But here's the scoop with this guy. Now remember, in the beginning of the episode, we mentioned that the graphite, this new graphite design is incredibly strong, but it's a little bit softer. It is a super score for this model, in my opinion. What do you think, Jeff? Yes, it's exactly what it should be. Yes, so previous versions of Leviathan, in my opinion, were just too damn stiff. They were great for throwing like a HUD or something like that, but they were so stiff that they didn't handle a glide bait very well. This new version, the way it bends, it actually gives you some of that mid-section parabolic bend. And instead of having a broomstick, you actually have a rod that's going to help you cast, that's gonna give you accurate casting, is gonna absorb some of that shock of treble hook baits. They nailed it. So if you guys are looking for a great, just all around use swim bait rod, this is definitely one that I can highly recommend now. It's gonna be money for that two to six ounce glide bait, right? Previous versions, I would say you almost had to be at five or six ounces because they were so stiff. This one can handle it. Now, if you're throwing soft plastics, there's tons of backbone down here at the bottom. So this rod is very strong. So you could throw a weedless soft plastic like a Magdraft Freestyle, a big 316, something like that. It can certainly handle you know, eight inch, 10 inch mag draft, any of that stuff, but you can in complete confidence now throw your ice slides, your slide swimmers, all of those things. What are those things that you throw, Jeff? Oh, um, DRT Clash 9s. Yeah. So all of those things now are going to fish great on this guy. Super excited, they totally nailed it. So if you guys are looking for an all around use swim bait rod, 199 bucks. You get this, it's it's pretty crazy. So these are gonna be really hard to keep in stock for a while, I have a feeling, just because it's it's perfect. It really is exactly correct. So definitely grab them if you guys have been waiting and wondering, like we all have, this is the first time we've actually had them in our hands. I'm like, Mega Bass, well done. Good job, you guys nailed it. Excited to have a rod like this back in the lineup. So enjoy guys. Well, you know what's so funny? You can't throw a clash bait on any other rod but a DRT rod. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I just uh, found that out, so I've been pretty good. What a bougie elitist. Yeah, that's huh. just how it is. Shocking. So you need to get some DRT rods in. Okay. All right, guys, that is a wrap for the breakdown of the brand new Mega Bass Levante lineup. I hope that was informative. I hope you saw somewhere in there the rod that you guys have been waiting for. If you have any questions on any of them, please drop your question down below in the comments and we will get to it. Jeff will leave links to these if you wanna check them out closer on our website. Enjoy the new lineup. I know you guys are gonna love it. There's gonna be a ton of fish caught on these things. So Mega Bass, well done. Love the new lineup, 199 bucks, crazy. So guys, on behalf of myself, my family, Jeff, Carmen, Hippie, everybody around here, thank you guys for the business and the support. And until next time, peace.